Using Hobie kayak cradles on a kayak trailer or on a roof rack is the ideal way to transport your Hobie kayak and prevent damage in transport. So I'm gonna walk through the best way to fit the cradles to your particular model. We have a suggested 67 inch spacing on center between the cradles, but that's just for general reference. For the optimal fit and to provide your kayak with the best support, you're gonna to wanna to follow this technique that I use to match the shape of the cradles to the exact profile of the bottom of your kayak. So let's get into it. I'm just gonna open this cradle set here. In the cradle set, you'll find three components. A set of instructions with a set of adhesive backed EVA padding. That's gonna go on to the cradle last. So once you've got your cradle placed and installed your crossbar, then you're gonna fit the pads to the cradle and this will provide a little extra cushion and it'll make it a little easier getting your kayak on and off of the cradle. So first things first, you'll notice this is the aft cradle with a slot molded into it for the keel. And if you hold this up, you can see it's wider on the bottom here as I'm holding it and a little bit narrower on the top. This is to accommodate the flare as you go toward the center of the kayak. Same thing with the forward cradle. It's gonna flare out toward the back, which will point toward the guardian mount. Place it on the kayak with the center cradle right over the center uh, chamber in the kayak hole. And I'm just gonna slide it back until I feel it mate up with the hole. And you'll feel a best match. You'll kind of feel where it's, it wants to stop. That to me is the best place to place the kayak cradle. So you're gonna place that there. And then I'm gonna do the same thing at the stern. So I'm gonna place it a little farther back and then slide it into position until I feel a little bit of friction. That's telling me that I'm matching the shape of the cradle up with the shape of the bottom of the hole. And each boat can differ just slightly. So this is definitely a step that you wanna take. My next step is measuring the bolt holes. So that's the center of each cradle. And I'm gonna take the distance between the two of those. So this one is at about 59 and a half inches. If you have the ability to adjust the distance between your crossbars, you want to adjust that to this distance. So in this case, 59 and a half inches. Hobie does not include hardware with these cradles because there's a variety of different mounting methods you can use when mounting to different manufacturers' crossbars. A lot of manufacturers use a T-bolt setup and you can source that as standard hardware through your hardware store or a lot of times you can get a hold of that mounting hardware through your roof rack company or trailer company. So um, depending on the method of mounting, you know, you can use T-bolts, U-bolts, just depends. So we've left that option open. Uh, we have provided a hole at the center of both cradles to make it easier. So if you're using a single T-bolt application at each of these places, that becomes pretty easy. Uh, you'll just have to source the right size that fits into the track on your crossbar. If you need to create extra holes for a U-bolt, you can simply drill this out. It's a UV protected ABS material, so it drills pretty easily. Remember when you're installing the kayak cradles to your crossbars, you wanna get the hardware set and installed before you go ahead and install the EVA padding. And one critical step that I think uh, is very important in installing the EVA padding to the cradles is to wipe these clean with a rubbing alcohol pad just so you can get nice adhesion with that 3M backing on the back of the EVA pads. Um, if you've accidentally installed the pads before you got your hardware installed, you can cut a small X at the center of the pad so you can access the hardware below. Some things that I really like about these kayak cradles is that when my kayak's on them and I'm transporting it down the highway on a trailer or a roof rack, I feel my kayak's a lot more secure. Not only is it more secure sliding side to side, it also protects the shape of the hole if you're transporting or storing in really hot weather. So this nice wide template of this cradle really protects the shape of your hole, it doesn't create any pressure points. 
plain crossbars or even padded crossbars can be problematic in really hot weather. So this is definitely an ideal choice for me in hot weather, long transports, or even long-term garage storage. This is a great thing to mount on a set of sawhorses or even a DIY wooden cart if you've done that for storage in your garage. You can place these on there and trust that the hull is going to maintain its shape over time and you won't have to worry about it. If you've seen some apparel in any of our videos that you like, check out Hobie.com and shop apparel.